Welcome to Coronado National Memorial, home of Coronado Cave. As one of the most accessible caves in southern Arizona, Coronado Cave is a great opportunity for the adventurous amongst us. However, like any other part of nature, it should be approached with care and caution. Let's look at what we need to be prepared for a trip into the cave. Let's start with the basics. Coronado Cave is 600 feet long and varies in width between 6 feet and 70 feet. If you don't like the dark or tight spaces, this may not be the activity you want to do. At the trailhead, there are no restrooms or water facilities, so make sure you stop at the visitor center on your way up to the cave. Coronado Cave is located at the end of a half mile long trail that climbs 500 feet in elevation. This is a steep hike, so make sure that you come prepared. No permit beyond common sense is required to visit the cave. Just follow the caver's creed. Cave softly. Take nothing but pictures. Leave nothing but well-placed footprints. Kill nothing but time. What does this mean to you? Leave no trace. Keep your voices down in the cave. No pets in the cave or on the trail. And please do not use the cave as a restroom. Coronado Cave is open sunrise to sunset, so make sure that you are allowing enough time for your trip. Surfaces can be uneven and slippery. Proper footwear is strongly recommended. Bring layers for the cool interior of the cave, a first aid kit, at least one bottle of water per person, and two sources of light, not counting a cell phone. Headlamps and flashlights are great options. You will find that once you get in the cave, weak lights will not allow you to see everything. Come prepared so that you can check out every last bit of this amazing geologic formation. You may find that the more the merrier. If you have a group of folks hiking together, the collection of lights will really have a great effect on your viewing experience. Hiking with a group is a great idea for another reason. Not only will you be able to see the cave so much better, but you will also be safer in this tight environment. If you were to become stuck in a tight spot or injured, it could be hours before anyone else comes upon you. Having a buddy or two is just good sense. Didn't come with anyone? Make friends with your fellow cavers and form a group or tell a ranger where you are going. Take care when descending from the trail into the cave, as there are many large boulders on this steep downhill slope. Maintaining three points of contact can make the scramble easier. Keep an eye out for wet and slippery rocks. This is where good footwear earns its keep. Once you are inside the cave, start exploring. Water has been slowly wearing through the limestone forming amazing stalagmites, stalactites, and columns. There is a long history of human presence in this place, as well as the occasional wildlife viewing opportunity in the form of a squeaky little bat. Try to keep your excitement at a low volume, though. Loud noises are easily amplified to shouts by the cave walls, disrupting both sleeping bats and other visitors with you. Try finding a spot deep in the cave, and being absolutely silent for 10 seconds. You might be surprised by how much you can hear. Because this cave is home to bats, we ask visitors to be mindful of the white nose syndrome problem in America's bat population. White nose syndrome is a fungus that has infected and killed millions of bats since 2007. It does not, however, affect humans. Make sure you wash your gear and clothing thoroughly between visiting caves to prevent carrying the disease to an uninfected population. Currently, there's no white nose syndrome in Arizona, and we'd like to keep it that way. Most importantly, make sure that you enjoy your time in this wild and free space within your public lands. Coronado Cave provides a great opportunity to explore a natural limestone cavern with your friends, family, and fellow spelunkers.
Come and discover the world beneath your feet.